Just when I thought we were getting a break from new JavaScript frameworks, a new one emerges called Beaver or Behaver, which isn't exactly a new framework, but more of a mashup of four popular tools with the aim of bringing back vendor agnostic Jamstack apps. Sounds like a dig at Next.js. So let's try it. And you should also try hitting that subscribe button. So this is the Beaver template after a fresh install of Beaver, complete with API support, built with the Beaver CLI, which lets you choose between default, Tailwind and Shadcn, and also lets you use the Hono RCP client. It has a client, server and shared folder for shared TypeScript definitions, which are all packaged together as a monorepo using bun workspaces. For development, you can run this script that will use concurrently to start all three servers. But if you're familiar with Hono and React, you can add a new endpoint like this, fetch data from it like this, and render that data in JSX, meaning the page will now get data from my new endpoint. And it's that simple. But there's also a single origin option to run the app on one port instead of two, if you want to deploy it on a VPS or a Raspberry Pi. Speaking of deployment, the vendor agnostic nature of Beaver means it can be deployed anywhere but the documentation only has detailed instructions for Cloudflare and not much else, meaning they clearly have a preferred deployment platform. But how does it compare to Next.js? Well, Beaver is best for single page applications or client side rendered applications that communicate with an API. Even though Hono can do server side rendering and static site generation, hydrating a server rendered page is a bit tricky. Next.js, however, supports CSR SSG, SSR, and ISR. Basically, all the acronyms. Next has a bunch of other features like file-based routing, a more tightly integrated client and server, and automatic image optimization, which is perfect for SEO. But it's all highly optimized for hosting on Vercel. And if you want to deploy somewhere else, then you're going to have to use something like Open Next. So while Beaver doesn't offer a lot of these features out of the box, you can still kind of get them depending on where you choose to deploy. Basically, if you've ever thought about breaking free from that swanky Vercel prison and want to use something that feels familiar, then you should use Waku. Unless you really don't like React server components, then you can use Beaver. 